Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis. And we're in Chapter 3, part of this playlist, which I'm calling Characterizing Multivariate Data. Let's jump to today's topic, which is linear combinations of variables. Now, first, we're going to take one linear combination of the elements of Y. And then, of course, the next section will be K linear combinations of the elements of Y. So let's do population parameters first. Let's let y be a random vector. It's uh, p by 1, random vector, with mean mu, so it's a mean vector, and the variance covariance matrix sigma, capital sigma. Now let a be a vector constants. Then a linear combination of the elements of y is this. You take the first variable times a1 plus the second variable times a2 all the way to the pth variable times the constant AP. Now, that's our new variable Z, but it can be represented in, mat or in matrix form or vector form, A transpose Y. So this is a vector product, which represents this linear combination. Now to find the mean, the population mean of Z, we take its expected value, but then if we replace what Z is by A transpose Y, and the expected value really only applies to random variables, not constants. So the constant can be taken out front, but the expected value of y is just a mean vector. So this is the expected value of y. Now, the variance, population variance of z, we call the, you know, the variance of z, right? And then we replace what z is, a transpose y, and then when, when we have something like this, I always like to convert it to transpose. Whenever we're dealing with vectors and matrices, the variance is really the covariance of itself. Now, co, co means two, you know, so we're covariating this or finding the variance. But in vectors or matrices, the, the constants don't play it or they, they come out multiplied. So... It always comes out front as is, so it's A transpose, but that constant comes out back transposed. So A transpose transpose was just A. And then the covariance of Y is the covariance matrix. So this is the uh, matrix form of the, co the variance of Z. Now the sample statistics, uh, so remember we're dealing with A transformation, so one transformation. So let's let YI be the observation vector of the ith unit and a linear combination of the elements of yi. So each observation, each data point is transformed uh, by a transpose yi. So, so if we have a sample size of n, then we get n zi, you know, n z's in a sense. So we go from n vectors y y i you know y1 y2 y3 we take each vector and transform it to a number so now we have n numbers and we can take the sample mean of the z's so that's just represented by z bar which is the sum of the zi's divided by n if we replace what the zi's are which is this vector product a transpose y i now this constant vector can be taken out of this out of the sum like this but the sum of the yi divided by n is that sample mean vector so then we have a transpose you know y bar that's the sample mean of the z's the sample variance of the z's let's represent it by z, uh, s z squared so that's the sample variance of the z's which is really just the um average squared distance from the mean adjusted for bias that's what the n minus one is but now let's re let's replace what z is remember z is a transpose yi now this uh since it's squared we can take zi minus z bar times zi minus z bar and then replace it with what we have here so the first one zi is this and the, uh, the mean or ZI is up here, I mean. And the mean of Z is this one, so it goes here. 
and then we have, there's two of them but notice this is a number so it's a one by one matrix or a scalar so if we take the transpose of it it doesn't change it and so that's what we do here this is this number and this number are the same and the same here if we just took the transpose but we do that to facilitate this uh, uh, matrix product all these vector products so here we left factor out an a transpose and it's constant so it can come out of the sum <clears throat> and then on this uh, in these parentheses we right factor out an a and then it's constant so it can come out of the sum and that's what this represents but this piece in the middle is just the sample uh, covariance matrix so this a transpose s a is the sample variance of the z's now of course y bar and s are the sample mean and the sample covariance matrix of our sample y1 y2 to yn now quick r illustration now we introduced this mt cars which is motor trend car road test data and i'm going to point you back to amv18 that stands for applied multivariate video 18 in this playlist where we introduce it a little more but they collect fuel consumption and then characteristics about the car and so if we look at the structure of this object it's a data frame 32 observations 11 variables and here's a little summary now since we're going to be dealing with matrix products and vector products we have to convert the data frame into a matrix and so that's what we do here and i grab the first third fourth fifth and sixth seventh columns because those are the most continuous like variables and this is just an illustration so we we stored in y and if we want to look at the first six rows of y we just say look at the head of y and that's what we get here now we need to grab a, a constant vector so what i do is i take the eigenvalue of the covariance of y and we grab the first vector in that list so this is an eigen the first eigen vector of the covariance matrix of y now you may think well that's a pretty random choice for the constant vector but this is exactly what we're going to be doing in later uh, videos later lectures grabbing those eigenvectors so we'll just take the first one store it in a and this is it now we take y times a and what this does is it takes this uh, vector of constants times each row so it takes 0 0.038 times 21 minus 0 0.899 times 160 minus 0.43 times 110 0 0.002 times you know 3.9 and, and so forth and so we, so now each unit each observation instead of having six values has one so in a sense we've re data reduced it we've taken six variables down to one so now each object has a measurement and we can look at them here now let's look at the mean of our z's that's minus 270 but if we look at it in matrix form it's a times the mean vector of y and we get the same thing minus 270 <clears throat> the variance of z's is 18,637 but if we look at it in matrix product we have the a transpose times the covariance of y times a and we get the same thing 18,637 okay well that's all I have for this video in the next video we're going to look at k linear combinations of variables so i hope you enjoyed this i sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye